Hi, and welcome to the next episode of Ralph on Cars. This time we're looking at the first of the Goodwood cars, the Phantom 7. In 1998, BMW announced that they had acquired the rights to the Rolls-Royce name and the double R trademarks for the automotive marketplace. However, they had a slight problem. They didn't have a suitable car to put the name on or a factory to build it in. But they did have four years to design, develop and build a car, as well as a new factory in England. Four years isn't a very long time when it comes to designing and developing a new car from scratch especially when the market demands that the new car be exceptional and demonstrably better than anything else on sale at the time. Potential customers, the media and enthusiasts the world over all waited to see what BMW would do with the brand and how well their new car would carry the most prestigious name in the world. Could BMW in just four years come up with a car that would truly transform the public perception of what a Rolls-Royce motor car is? BMW themselves described their task as the last great adventure in automotive history. Ian Cameron and his team of designers had to come up with a car that would be instantly recognisable as a Rolls-Royce, yet be different to what had gone before. A new car not only worthy of the name Rolls-Royce, but also the name Phantom, which had always represented the very best the company could produce. Based in central London, they were to draw inspiration from everything traditionally British, as well as something that spoke of the heritage of the brand and reflected cars such as the Silver Cloud and previous Phantoms. BMW employed all of the most advanced engineering and development techniques at its disposal, coming up with a totally new aluminium space frame and an all new 6.75 litre naturally aspirated V12 with the emphasis on low end torque, mated to a 6 speed automatic gearbox. The 6 and 3 quarter displacement having become synonymous with the brand. They built a new factory on the Goodwood Estate of Lord March in West Sussex and gathered a highly skilled workforce drawn from the local area's boat building and saddle making industries, experienced in crafting the finest materials. At one minute past midnight on the 1st of January 2003, the first customer of the new era Rolls Royce received the keys to the first Phantom to be built at the new Goodwood plant. The reaction was universal. BMW had produced a car truly worthy of the name Rolls-Royce. The embodiment of silent luxury, sublime ride and effortless performance meant that Phantom was in a class of its own and for the first time in a very long time could truly wear the title of best car in the world. The car came with some truly exceptional features and attention to detail. The interlocked double R Rolls Royce monogram in the hubcaps, for example, remains upright at all times, and rear coach doors with soft close function house Teflon coated umbrellas to provide the grandest form of disembarkation from any motor car, whatever the weather. The rear hinge back doors gave a true sense of arriving in style. The car had a very simple dash layout with a gear selector that simply read Park, Reverse, Neutral and Drive. Rather than the rev counter, it had a power reserve gauge which never seemed to imply that the engine was working hard at all. And there was the option of a Starlight headlining which could be tailored to match any constellation the customer desired, plus a whole range of other bespoke furnishings available to suit the customer's requirements. The leather hides used for the interior are hand selected from alpine bulls, so there are no stretch marks, nor any marks from thorns or barbed wire. These are then laser cut before being hand sewn.
But let's not forget the scale of what BMW achieved in relaunching the Rolls-Royce brand and creating Phantom 7. As the Chief Executive Officer of Rolls-Royce, Mr. Torsten Müller-Utfisch now explains. Allow me briefly to take you back to the turn of the 21st century when the BMW Group became owner and also brand custodians of the Rolls-Royce mark. And the task for the new Rolls-Royce was daunting. Rebuild the prestige and the product line of Rolls-Royce motor cars and bring to market the best car in the world. And this would be an extraordinary goal for any manufacturer, left alone only with the weight of expectations that came with the famous Rolls-Royce name. And of course, the spirit of ecstasy as its mascot of excellence. And we rose to that challenge. The reaction to the magnificent Phantom was outstanding. The car sparked a Rolls-Royce renaissance. It combined the spirit of its famous pedigree with elegant design work, groundbreaking technology, and visionary engineering techniques. And the famous words of Sir Henry Royce, strive for perfection in everything you do, once more echoed through the hallways of the superbly designed new home of Rolls-Royce in Goodwood, and still does. Phantom revived and they reclaimed the pinnacle of automotive luxury and refinement. And it has maintained this position ever since. It is a completely unique and unequaled achievement that goes beyond its primary role as a car and becomes to many a work of art, a fine piece of jewelry or a rare and collectible object of desire. And it is exactly this pinnacle position of Phantom that has ensured its remarkable success. Discerning collectors will always seek the finest acquisitions and Phantom has continued to satisfy this demand over the years. When talking of our clients, I'm often asked what makes a typical Rolls-Royce owner. And I have to tell you, there isn't one. However, it is true that all our clients, be they captains of industry, film stars, or heads of states, they all have similar expectations. And firstly, they demand the best. And that goes without any saying. But secondly, when approaching their purchase of a Rolls-Royce, they expect much more than just a car. What they are looking for is a classical luxury item that reflects their innermost desires, wildest aspirations, and the success they have achieved in their business and also in their personal life. And this is exactly what Rolls-Royce delivers. This is also why our unique bespoke personalization service has performed so well. In 2005, an extended wheelbase version was introduced with an additional 250 millimeters of rear legroom. 2007 saw the launch of not a convertible, but a drophead coupe version of the car. This time there were only two doors on the car, so they made those the rear hinged coach doors. As with a saloon, the occupant had only to press a button and the car would close the doors for them. This yacht for the highway featured teak rear decking and the option of a polished stainless steel bonnet. A year later, in 2008, a two-door fixed head coupe was launched, again with the option of starlight headlining. In 2012, a refreshed and subtly updated version was launched, referred to as Phantom Series 2, with the most obvious difference being new LED adaptive headlights. Other changes included an 8-speed transmission, updated sat-nav and driver aids, including all-round cameras to aid with manoeuvring in tight spaces and parking. It is interesting to note that it was only in 2016 when Rolls-Royce announced the production of this Phantom was due to end that the company began to refer to it as Phantom 7, the seventh generation of motor car 
to bear the illustrious name. When launched in 2003, it was referred to as New Phantom, and then simply Phantom. Even in 2012, when the updated version of the car was launched, that was simply referred to as Phantom Series 2. Doubtless this was as a result of them coming to terms with the fact that the all-new Phantom needed to be referred to in a suitable fashion. But perhaps there is now such confidence in what has been achieved since 2003 that Rolls-Royce feel they can now fully embrace their own heritage. Rolls-Royce has a very long-standing history, 114 years. And uh, in Goodwood, the home of Rolls-Royce, uh, we have accomplished the mission over the last decade to reposition the brand back to where it belongs to, the pinnacle of luxury. Remember to check out all the videos and if you like them then like, share and subscribe and keep watching out for more videos coming on in the future. Thanks. Bye.